When we're embarrassed, we blush, and when we're sad, we cry. <laughs> but why? Hey Shy Guys, Trace here for D News. Now imagine you're walking in front of a cute girl and you wanna say something cool and instead you trip and you fall on your face. Her friends are starting to laugh and you're starting to feel yourself turning red. Why Darwin, why? Why did we evolve this stupid way of showing embarrassment and shame? What possible reason could we have for blood to rush to our upper body at that exact moment? Blushing is different from flushing. Flushing happens when the blood vessels expand due to heat, alcohol consumption, exercise, or whatever. But Emotionally reactive blushing is exclusive to humans and happens when we feel a hit of adrenaline related to our emotional state. Adrenaline release is part of our fight or flight response, which causes increased blood flow and vascular dilation, thus a reddening of the face. Females are more likely to blush than males, and social scientists believe it's a non-verbal way to clue in others to the feelings inside of us. Old world primates and ancient humans have large eyeballs and emotive faces to help recognize the emotional state of their kin. Unlike blushing, crying, as in shedding tears, is not solely a human thing. Researchers have documented crying in camels, elephants, and apes, but they think that only we humans shed tears for emotion. That's actually called weeping, by the way. There are three different kinds of tears. Basal tears, they keep the eye moist. Reflex tears, that happens when the eye needs to clean itself, like when a damn bug gets in there or you're chopping onions or whatever. And then there are these psychic tears. They're the cool ones. Your tear ducts, like your nose, are tied into the limbic system, which regulates emotion. Dr. William H. Frey II, a biochemist at the St. Paul Ramsey Medical Center in Minnesota, found that these psychic or emotional tears contain more prolactin, more adrenocorticotropic hormone, and leucine enicophalin, which is a natural painkiller. All of these are created by the human body when under stress. Weeping can actually help you de-stress, you know, like a good cry. Like blushing, tears are also non verbal indicators of the emotional state of the speaker. It's kind of like the atomic bomb of emotional reactions. A study published in Evolutionary Psychology back in 2009 showed people photos of sad faces. In some, the tears were photoshopped away. Without the tears, respondents rated the people as less sad, or in some cases weren't even sure what their emotional state was. Tears show our peers that we're overwhelmed, we're stressed, or we're sad. They're a nonverbal cry for emotional support and empathy. This also explains that deep-seated feeling feeling of discomfort when someone is crying nearby, that's evolution telling us to go help that fellow human. As humans evolved into more social creatures, these nonverbal languages developed to help the rest of our community understand what was happening within us. And those who weren't able to express their emotional needs weren't maybe as likely to breed and pass on their genes. What kind of things make you blush and cry? Tell us your thoughts in the comments and be sure you subscribe for more D News, because otherwise, I don't know, I'm just gonna cry. It won't feel good. <laughs>